Hello everybody, Zonga to 134 here. As always, I'm Average Joe Squad. I'm Jared. And welcome to another hyphenated review, the show where we look at new movies in hopefully a not long, long, long time. I still gotta work on that fucking figuring out what is actually gonna be the catchphrase of the show. But anyway. I don't wanna know. <laughs> <laughs> in case you didn't know what date it was, we saw Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Otherwise known as Doctor Strange Mom. <laughs> That's, that's always, I had somebody at work on, on your crew actually keeps to, we, Sam, Sam always refers to it as mom and I had to explain to Riley what the fuck it was yeah. I'm, like, it's, I'm like it's an abbreviation <laughs> um, so just to get it out of the way there are going to be spoilers if you, um, don't, if you haven't seen the movie and you're watching the review go watch the movie then come back Yeah, um, we're not going to spoil everything for you because you should go see it it's good um but, you know, we are going to discuss some things about it. Um, this is the second Doctor Strange film, um, obviously. Which is, it's been like a long time between Strange Strange 1 yeah, and Strange 2. The first one came out, I was in college still. Yeah. Um, but basically, this the, the plot follows as a sort of kind of sequel to Far From Home and the fact that it deals with the multiverse. Um, I should warn you going in, you're, you're going to need to see that. WandaVision, Loki, as well as, um, well, some of the episodes of Marvel's What If, because there are things from each of that that play a heavy factor into this film. Um, or you could just go into it not watching What If, like I did. I mean, the for What If less so. What If just, it, it, there's some characters that I get introduced there, but you would, I would, you would agree, Loki, WandaVision. Yeah, Loki, are definitely Loki, pro WandaVision, and No Way Home, yeah. I would argue. Yeah, I I just say what if just because like again there's some characters that are introduced in that and that are introduced here, so in case you're like where the fuck did those come from I, that would be where. Um, well, what if I don't want to get Disney Plus? Well, well then you're well, fucked. That, that's, yeah, that's I, your I hate breaking it to you. You're fucked. That's your own fucking fault. Um, Buy a bootleg, I guess. You're gonna be very very. Visit lost. your local pirate bay. <laughs> um, essentially, um, Doctor Strange has been having this recurring dream where. Him and a young girl who we learned is known as America Chavez are chased by these demons, which leads into a plot by the Scarlet Witch uh, to search through the multiverses for something. Um, in doing so, Strange will be pulled into other universes and deal with his own personal problems as well as a threat that will eventually reach to all of the multiverse. Um, and that's the basic plot without me revealing a whole lot. Yeah. Um, so real quick, uh, what were your expectations going into this film? I think it's a good place to start because this movie, kind of along with No Way Home, had a lot, and I mean a, a lot. lot, of rumor and speculation going around to the fact that, as all of us are aware, because I've read to everybody in this, this vehicle from it, uh, there was an entire fan wiki page that just said, Multiverse of Madness rumors. And they had, like, confirmed, yeah. um, confirmed, rejected, all speculated... Half of which was not fucking true at all, no. like usual. But it was it was fun to kind of just see, see everybody's yeah. speculation, especially after No Way Home. I think it got a lot of people anticipating, like, you know, like, well, what, who who can they bring back? You know, yeah. what kind of cameos are we going to see? Not to mention, um, a couple months ago, the script got leaked, mm -hmm. supposedly, was, was the script got leaked. Yeah. And we, we had read all of it. Um, some of the stuff I did read in it was, was accurate. Yeah, no, it was very but accurate. But if, if the rumor we, we saw now, which is they cut a lot of stuff, then I'm wondering, I'm wondering what in that script was cut and what yeah. wasn't like what I'm kind of, I'm just at this point where I'm like, what was bullshit and what I read and what was actually yeah. factual they filmed. Um, cause for those of you who don't know. This movie was actually supposed to come out before Far From Home. Before WandaVision. And before WandaVision. In fact, it was supposed to be the first film in this new phase for the MCU. But then COVID happened. So they had to shuffle a lot around. Um, to the point that the director of this movie, the first director actually left. Yeah. And halfway through, like, you know, it was like halfway through the movie being made. So Disney called up our, our, our Lord and Savior, Savior, Sam our Raimi. Sam Raimi. And he... I, I want to say probably started the film from scratch because I I could not tell what like like everything looked really Sam Raimi ish. I, yeah. I, he probably just went back to he blew it back to the frame and was like okay yeah um let me let me let me start shooting stuff because uh, I only know how to make 
a couple kinds of movies, and this was definitely one of oh, the this was the Sam movie. Raimi Sam Raimi film to ever Sam Raimi. Um, it's the most Sam Raimi film I've seen in a while. Um, expectations. Um, I expected it to be really good because, like, I I'm a pretty big fan of Sam Raimi. I I think when even if he he makes a bad movie, it's still entertaining and interesting. Spider Man Three, Sp Spider Man Three, for example. Um, my only going in, I was I was expecting it to be good. I I worried that like Doctor Strange wasn't going to be very important to this film. I talked about it a little with Jared, but like I was really afraid that like he that was he gonna wasn't going to be the focus within his own movie. Yeah, he was going to get lost in the shuffle because that's one of the things I get really frustrated with with certain MCU films where it feels like it kind of stops being their movie and being set up for another MCU film or just being an MCU film with guest starring I, that character. I get tired of every origin movie just being fucking Iron Man 1 again. I do do, do that too. Because I don't like Iron Man 1 to begin um, with. But I was actually pleasantly surprised. Like, I, I was really glad that, like, they tied in the events that was happening with Wanda to um, Strange himself. I think that it, it does work as a really good piece because you, you kind of see the two characters as kind of, like, mirrors to each other. So I, I was actually very surprised at what I... I will admit, I, if I were to say anything, I was kind of let down by how much of the multiverse we got to see... But like you said, due to like probably how much got cut, I would not be surprised if we just yeah, lost a lot. Yeah, because I mean, that. it was rumored Toby was supposed to be in this, and then it was rumored like Ghost Rider was gonna, like all kinds of people. Everybody under the damn sun was rumored to be in this movie. Yeah, hell, they were they were rumoring that Wesley Snipes was gonna come back as Blade, which I remember us reading that, and I remember being like, that's yeah, never, and hell's gonna yeah, freeze over that's soon. Ne that's never gonna happen. That's never guys. happening. Like he has burned too many bridges. He's never coming back. Yeah. I mean. Like, if he comes back, I will fucking, I'll, I'll be, fucking, I'll be over the moon. Uh, no, no, because I'm, I'm gonna be like, oh god, it's Doomsday. Seth McFar, Seth, Seth MacFarlane is finally gonna make that fucking Spawn film now. <laughs> like that, that is. But then uh, the we, we spoiler alert, he comes back. We go see a movie that he's in, and one of the opening trailers is Spawn. I would, <laughs> I would, I'd be like, well, I've seen everything I need to see in this world. And I'm gonna go. I'm going to pull myself up by my ass and drag. Go and lift. Go walk out in the traffic. No, I'm gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like the Lorax. I'm just gonna lift my ass. I'm just gonna float off into the nether and never be heard from again. But um, but no, that like that, like I said, my my biggest worry was going into this. It was gonna be kind of just either a mess or it was going to be very much kind of like my problems with the very end of No Way Home, where it was gonna just be set up for another. For movie. me, it was kind of the same because um, I had been following this movie since it had gotten announced. You know, like I was there when the director thing got announced, and I remember being like, "Well, this movie's got a 50-50 of being really bad or really yeah, average that... because we're changing directors halfway through," which to me is usually a warning sign because the director the director and their style of approach is so essential to a film and how a film is made up like its genetic makeup is really determined a lot by the director yeah i know opinion. a lot yeah a lot so of people, with this yeah. i was just like okay how what is this movie going to do are they going to i was like okay but then i heard them say like i i started i remember that when i saw it it was on facebook they're like Sam Raimi did to return to marvel i'm like yeah, yeah. uh huh sure and yeah. i'm getting spider-man 4 next year right <laughs> I'm going to get my trailer along with uh, Amazing 3. Like, I'm going to get all this shit. Yeah. I'm like, come on, man. I, I've been wanting him to come back to Marvel for, for like, a while now. Yeah. But I, I was like, it's just not going to happen. And then I was like, okay, let me Google it. Because I guarantee, that's, like, my first thing. When I when I see news, let me Google it. Let me make sure I'm getting it through channels if it's not just bullshit. Because you don't want to do the uh I don't want to get hype and then be, think, it's, think it's right and then... Find out it's not and be fucking upset and disappointed. That's called being a conservative. Yeah, basically. <laughs> but uh, so anyway, I I throw it in on the old Google Google search engine, go to news, and I see it picked up by pretty reliable sources. And I'm like, oh god! I remember because I'm you were you were at work that day with with yeah, me. And I was. remember I remember going to you. I threw the the cooler door open and I'm like, Adam, Raimi's doing the next Marvel movie. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. I remember you. I remember you were even like. Don't fucking bullshit, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, no, no I'm like, being serious. You son of a bitch. Don't. I was like, look, educate yourself. Yeah, and, then, and then it was me. I was in the rain, and I was got the Hawkeye mohawk, and I was like, don't do that. Don't give me home. Don't give me home. I'm like, no, Adam, Adam, I'm being serious. So I was like, okay, since this Raimi was on board, I'm like, I officially have confidence in this movie. Yeah. Even if it's not Sam Raimi's best, his, his mediocreness is most directors' 
like artistic yeah. magnum opus. And for the record, he knocked it out of the park in this. Just, oh, just as I know what you're talking about like beautiful cinematography. Oh my I god, I know Jared no. would, would agree with that. No, beautiful oh cinematography. Oh, his it, cinematography was so beautiful, definitely. and it was all very Sam Raimi ish. Got no, a lot like, of hard yeah. cuts. Got a lot of eye got, eye angles. Had faded. Had like like overlaying scenes in front of others to make had like some rock music in there. Oh a couple different God. points. The guitar sting and the rack focus shots. Oh, to the point where oh, there's yeah. a scene where Strange is fighting and he him and the other the the opponent are literally fighting with the soundtrack. It's wonderful. And I'm like that. That, that was Sam Raimi at Sam that, Raimi's peak. That was so cool. It was like, what other movie can you say, like, two people fought with the and soundtrack? And for me, it was like, I could tell he had fun with this. No, yeah. Like, I remember, I was also following, like, you know, the press stuff. And I remember seeing something where, like, it was uh, Benedict Cumberbatch and uh, Elizabeth Olsen were, and him were doing press stuff. And they, like, you know, yeah. Benedict was talking, doing the interview, and he's talking about Sam. And he looks over, and Sam Raimi's gone. And they're like... <laughs> Where, where did he go? And He's then, been then, taken up. And then they, they pan over, and here's Sam Raimi coming back in the room with a drink. And I'm just like, like, oh, Sam's happy. Well, cause Kevin Pro Sam does best when he's having fun. Well, then I, I assume Feige was like, listen, man, I've seen your work on Spider-Man. I'm a big fan of your work. <laughs> do whatever, do whatever you, did you want. Yeah, no. I talked to Disney. Do whatever you want. Yeah, you here's are allowed. Here's a blank check. Yeah. Here's a blank check. Just shoot. <laughs> But uh, Jared, your uh, your expectations going into this? My expectations were a little um, not low, but but they were certainly different. Because mm. I remember when Scott Derrickson left, I was concerned that I'm glad like, you remembered his name because I couldn't. Was not he the think guy who did name. the first? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I couldn't and, think of that guy's name. Yeah. It's I, really good. I think he did good in that movie too because I just saw it recently. Oh, I love the first Doctor. Because we're planning on doing a review for that. Yeah. I mean, it was. Um, I read that they left over creative differences, mm, okay. and that told me that Marvel didn't really want to do another character piece. They wanted to do a, a big, extravagant event. Which is kind of frustrating, because, like uh, like I said, I, I wish some of these single films would be a at least a little bit focused on the main character yeah. instead of just... That was one thing I liked about Captain Marvel was, yeah. but say what you will or have complaints about that film, at least it was very focused on Carol. Well, that's why, like, I thought Hawkeye and WandaVision were so great, because they yeah, were, they were two, about those characters. They were characters. very character-driven. Well, usually like, they start off that way, but in the second installment, like, like you pointed out, they, they, yeah. they lose the focus. So I was concerned about that. Yeah. And once they announced this, the title, Multiverse of Madness, it kinda, you kind of know what to expect. or somewhere. Yeah. And I thought it was going to fall prey to the temptation to... Have the third act be cameo, 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 cameo. No, thank God that wasn't the yeah, case because I, I like as much as I enjoyed. I could have done one a couple moment, more, but I was also very satisfied with what we got. I, I I think given how much like they expected in far like how much hype was for Far From Home, I kind of I'm kind of glad they did kind of no go back home. as or no way home. <laughs> God fucking damn! That's I, the second time you died. I fucking hate you. that trilogy's fucking naming know, scheme. It's home. such a pain in the ass. Yeah. But um, but yeah, like I think given, considering No Way Home was, I'm kind of glad they wheeled back on the cameos. Yeah. Because I, I think I think that worked here, so that way, like, what cameos we did get, they, they felt more special. Right, and yeah. Not that I, the ones in No Way Home were, weren't special, well, yeah, obviously. Yeah, you couldn't but, put a dozen of them. You had to, you had to, you had to pay some. But, like, I, I, like, 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 those cameos were, the, like, felt the same way as Far From Home. The, or, God damn it, <laughs> I did it again. No Way Home. I, God, that fucking naming scheme is fucking stupid. I wanted a Howard the Duck cameo. I'm once again disappointed. That would have been kind of funny. <laughs> that would have been um, hilarious as fuck. But I think you, like, you, you get what I mean. Like, like, I'm... They could have went to the... They could have shown the reality where everybody's a duck. That could have been... That could have been the best cameo is when they're... When they're going through the multiverse, they could have at least seen that for a yeah. split also, second. And I that would have been happy. Me for one so multiverse was, where, was everything was animated. <laughs> so I'm like, I I'm assuming that you just you step through Miles's universe from yes. Spider Verse for just a brief react. second. I saw you react to that with that I'm quick like, flash. I'm yeah. like that better meant you yeah. guys were like referencing Spider Verse. Yeah. Now, what was your opinion, Jared, when you when you heard Sam was on, was on the case? I was uh, well. First of all, of course, I was, who wouldn't be excited? Come yeah. on, yeah, but, that, that, Sam no, exactly, but. One of my criticisms of the MCU is that it feels very made made by committee. Yeah, movies. that's like a paint by numbers kind of yes, thing. Yes, like Shang Chi felt like I didn't see any kind of signature director directing style. And that's fair. That's but, very fair. But like there's Sam, a lot of there's a lot of MCU. They're kind of like are, copy paste. Yeah, exactly. like they're very have very generic like camera and work I think and that's stuff. why the director of uh, Dark World he he kind of dropped out. He, oh my he, fucking god! Well, that was no that's no big loss. Uh, well, I mean. <laughs> I get what Jared said. Like, no, I, I that do get at what least you're that had like a directorial stamp on it. Exactly. Yeah, but uh, to be fair, I I think it got blown out of the water by the Ragnarok. Yeah, but Raimi he delivered. I mean, no, yeah, right from the sh right from the start, the way he moves the camera, 
Yeah. The, the, the zoom ins. I mean, there's the shot where where she his uh, composition. Exactly. Yeah. No, his use, compositions are yeah. Oh, the use of color. I mean, oh I don't know God, if we no. want to go through the story. I don't know if I'm allowed to say this at this point. I mean, but, you're allowed to just yeah. just we'll just we'll put it from yeah. Here. We'll, spoilers from here on out. Spoilers. spoilers are open season. Yeah, spoilers are open season. So if you don't want spoilers, click the click the red X over here in the corner. Yeah. Okay. That's, all right, go, so, feel, free to, yeah, feel, free to, well, feel free to just, just drop spoilers. Okay, I was going to go off, and there's a yeah. certain shot in this film where it's it's the dark holds the connection severed, and yeah. she loses the, the the twins, and it, it it's just cut hard cutting back and forth between the uh, realities. That's yeah. a very Sam Raimi it is, as technique. the camera tilts. It's fantastic. Oh, he uses he uses the Dutch angle really well. My favorite this. was he brought back my favorite camera angle that he does. The eye one. Oh, yeah. Where they go oh. into the eye. It's well, one of my the... favorite camera angles that he does. Like, well, if we ever... Yeah. I'm almost... I almost wonder if we did remember the hype in the movie. Like, we keep joking about. <laughs> yeah. Would I find a way to work, work that in, in is that we do an eye angle? They all, he also did the Evil Dead launch in the face thing, Oh, yeah. Too. Well, that, that slam cut. Yeah, the yeah, slam cut. Yeah, he's doing cut. all these cuts. Like, it's... Again, they, you can tell they just gave him, like, here's the camera, Sam. Go to work. Yeah. yeah. You so, guys yeah. don't have anything you want specifically want? Just bring me a movie. Like, I, I guarantee you, Bob Iger looked at Sam Raimi and was like, Motherfucker, you are Sam Raimi. I don't got to tell you to do shit. You're going to print me money. I am so glad that they you, let him have You made the thing. Raimi trilogy. You made us money. <laughs> yeah. Like, no, um, there's a lot. Of, and also, he, he does a lot of callbacks to his other works. Like, right from the, the get-go, they have Shuma Garath, which I know he's not technically Shuma Garath. He's Shuma Garath. Because they, apparently they can't use the name because technically that that name is owned by Capcom or okay, like owned the, by what the fuck ever. But like he's Shuma Garaf. I don't fucking Capcom's care. Capcom's just trying to stay relevant. Well, the, yeah. But like you, you like he's Shuma Garaf. I don't care what anyone tells me. That is Shuma Garaf. But like that scene where he's like where it's crawling up the building and you have like that is. That is basically that is a just Spider-Man two, two callback. Call oh, like cool. even it has someone viewing it through the window, like in that. Scene. <laughs> like, I'm like I'm like Spider-Man two. Imagine um, he screamed and ran towards the camera. Well, this one I don't know if you got. Well, when those demons were coming out of the, the corpse that he was pu he was puppeting, yeah. and yes, that's a fucking thing that happens in this movie. It is fucked. It's wild. It, it's but really fucked. Those, those spirits. The fact where he's fixing the neck. I'm yeah. like, oh, oh, those, oh, that's creepy. Yeah, those spirits that. Those, that's the same voice as the goat demon from fucking Drag Me to Hell. Which he also directed. Well, like, so which he also directed, yeah. They're probably like, Sam, who do you, like, we gotta get a voice actor for this. You want us to call somebody up? I know, I know someone. <laughs> um, <laughs> like, he even actually does a callback to the first Doctor Strange film when um, Claire fights them off using that pot thing. That is a callback to the original Doctor Strange. So clearly, Raimi, Christine. like, yeah, Christine. You said Claire. Oh, my fucking God. I, oh. It's late, it's late. It's late. Forgive any... I'll, um, I'll correct where I say. Thank you. I yeah, I always want to call her Claire. I'm like, that's not her name. But, you got um, me thinking of Resident Evil when we yeah, run up yeah. Capcom. But, um... But no, but like yeah. I said, it, the, it's Sam Raimi yeah. at, at his best. And we no, also I, get the man, the legend, the ass-kicking, army of darkness killing fucker Mr. himself. Mr. Boomstick Mr. himself. Mr. Bruce, Bruce Campbell. Campbell. Which, I mean, great. he's just a cameo, but my god, that was such a great cameo. I fucking loved that. I didn't recognize no, him. No, I didn't recognize him. Showed up like, oh, it's oh my god, it's Bruce Campbell. You'll certainly recognize him by the end when he, yeah. when he looks Wait, at the camera. Well, especially because at the end when he's like fighting with his own hand, I'm like, yes, Sam, I watched Evil Dead too. <laughs> I know what you're referencing. <laughs> I mean, great. it was a funny cameo, but I was like... At one point, Adam was like, they, "He basically just remade Evil Dead." And I'm just, I looked, I looked at, it, I looked at you, and I looked at Riley, and I was like, "Groovy, Groovy. yeah." No, <laughs> he's straight up. It feels like he's straight up, right? like it really like, does. towards the end when he when these demons and shit are like clawing around and are like, "You." Fun fact: Sam actually just summoned demons, and he just fucking filmed. <laughs> I mean, it was shit was crazy. Well, then the fact that like Wanda's whole plan revolves around a dark book. Called the Dark Hold. You might as well just replace. He might as well just done a fine replace with the Necronomicon. Yeah, you should have copy and pasted that in there. I'm like, this is just, like this is just straight up the Evil Dead. Not that I'm saying that's a bad thing, but like after I thought about it, I'm like, you so also bitch. man, <laughs> man, she Elizabeth Olsen was fucking oh, creepy in this. Oh no, movie. she is real. Like her, 
her range of acting is that really fucking good scene where she looked into the camera. I'm like, I don't need, I don't need that. No, 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 no. no. She scared the shit out of me. Fuck that creepy, creepy shit. shit. No, no, no. Oh, when she comes out, change of that. that. Yeah, when yeah. she crawls out of the reflection and she's like putting herself back together. Oh my god, I forgot about that. Oh yeah, yeah it was creepy as hell. Oh. I was like, no, um, no, no, no. I quit. Oh. I that, quit. Then that scene where she's possessing that Wanda of that one universe, and you see like all this weird imagery, like the like the ocean and that coffee cup and oh, stuff. I was like, and then she looks up and it's in the mirror, and I'm like, yeah, I was like, oh, that was that piano. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck? Like, yeah. it was, there's a lot of what the fuck in yeah, there. There's that. Um, Black Bolt. But yeah, we haven't gotten to that okay. yet. Hold on. But um, there was another there was another Wanda thing that I'm trying to remember. It creeped me the fuck out when I saw it. I don't know if it was... Maybe it was that one where she looks dead on in the camera. Well, that that, that that shit always creeps me out. Well, then that scene where she pops up after being... After uh, Strange floods the tunnel at one point. Like, I was like... <laughs> I was like... God, that was so creepy. That her... Like, her... Like, she's ruined this body. Like, she's stepped through broken glass. She's limping. And, like, she just keeps coming. Like, like as if she were Jason Voorhees. It's like the Terminator. It gave me Terminator yeah. vibes in the tunnels. Um, Then, like... I, I will admit, I, I do think she, it doesn't really, because while she's doing all this, you do feel for her, because she's, she's in kind of a oh, place. I, I remember what it was. It was when she reveals to Strange oh, yeah. that everything around them is, was and she, she starts doing that monologue shit, yeah. and I'm like, oh, God. You, you give Thanos the time stone. That's, yeah, it's bringing that up, and I'm just like, you're fucking sounding like Thanos the more this movie yeah. goes on. No, I, to be fair, I think I almost wanted Strange to throw that at her. You're sounding like Thanos. Yeah, um... Like, I... Oh, I maybe did, I would have snapped her out of it. Um, this does take a lot from the House of M storyline, but I think this is done... It's done a lot better here, because I, I still think they treat... They treat Wanda a hundred times better than they treat her in the book. Yeah. Because at least Strange is trying desperately not to kill her. <laughs> yeah. Whereas, um, uh... Or is it, what is it, the the, the fucking, the, the X-Men are just like in that yeah. storyline, Jared. Have you read House of M, Jared? I've read about it. I, I, I'm not into The, the, the X-Men yeah. flat up are yeah, like, like, uh, yeah, like we're just going to kill her. Yeah, fuck like, it. That's instantly what they jump to, kill. And yeah, I'm meanwhile, like, the Avengers are like. Which Wolverine's uh, one of them. He's like the only X-Men of that whole thing that's like, wait a minute. <laughs> which I'm yeah. like, when Wolverine is telling you, no, let's wait a minute. Something is wrong. And to be fair, I get why, because they've dealt with the Phoenix before, and I kind of get it. But at the same time... Yeah, they're fucking gun-shy about anything regarding that kind of shit. I'm, I'm also glad they didn't do the bullshit where they try to explain her powers aren't real. Because that was one of the things that are is really fucking annoying in both of those, where they try to say that Wanda's powers are not real because chaos magic's not real. Despite the fact that Doctor Strange used chaos magic throughout the 90s when his other magics were taken away from him. Which, also fun fact, there's actually a lot of callbacks to the 90s Doctor Strange. Yeah, you were telling me. Um, the one alternate reality Strange that helps America at first is a reference to what he wore in the 90s. Um, the green minotaur that's at Kamartage is a... is Was his Wong during that? Because I'm going to say Wong died or Wong was like... Incapacitated not his, or something. Well, I think Wong, Wong quit, actually. Because I think he's like, I'm tired of your bullshit, Strange. Fuck you. That Fuck seems to happen a lot. That does happen a lot. Um... I also think they they Much kind of like me at work. Yeah, I've had enough of this um, bullshit. But yeah, there I was actually surprised. There's a lot of callbacks to the first film, despite the fact they had a director change. Like clearly, Raimi liked the first Sam Doctor Strange movie. Yeah, so he clearly knew what he was talking about. Um, I guess let's get to the big one then. We'll talk the, uh, about the, the Illuminati. Well, well, yeah, the Illuminati scene. Real, real quick though, I, can I just like what are you guys' feelings on America Chavez being in there? I kind of feel like they kind of I, I wouldn't say force her, but it, it kind of feels like she's really not in a lot of it. She felt more like a plot device than yeah, a character. Yeah. That was, I, I think that, I'm fair exactly. in saying that. I really, like, I wanted to like her character in this, yeah. but, like, I didn't, we just didn't get a lot to go on. We kind of got the very bare bones. Now, granted, this is also the first time she's shown up, and it's not, it's not American Chavez, the movie. It's, it's yeah. Doctor Strange, the Multiverse of Madness. But, like, at the same time, I, I feel like, and I'm glad to see you guys agree that she. It felt more like she was a plot device than a character. Yeah, which is a shame because I like she's like a a very recent character. It would have been nice to. I'm sure they're probably well, but it, it, like here, I think that's like my only real Disney complaint. Plus show inbound. Yeah, that was like my only real complaint with this movie is like I was like it feels like America doesn't really need to be, which I it's hilarious me saying that. I feel like America should be. I feel like America was kind of wasted. Oh yeah, we're always wasted. Yeah. Um. 
But yeah, let's let's get on to the the big reveal. Yeah, the the, with, the, with the universe with that the they Illumin first going. Yeah. yeah, with the Illuminati. Now this was this was the source of a lot of stuff when it showed up in the trailer. Yeah. Like specifically, um, my favorite was after No Way Home. I was very I was very ready for any cameo actor in this to fucking flat out deny they were in it. Yeah. You know, when it first showed up, we hear Patrick Stewart's voice, and I'm like, oh, it's Professor X. We got we got Patrick Stewart back. Yeah. And then, at first he said, no, I'm not in it. And also, I'm like, oh, here we go again with this shit. It's going to yeah. be Andrew Garfield all over again. It's Photoshop. You know, but then he did an interview, like, I think a couple days after, and he backtracked, and he basically was like, no, listen, I had no clue what anyone was talking about. Yeah. My phone was blowing up. That's why I said I wasn't in it, because I hadn't seen it yet. I'm completely in it. <laughs> Like I like, I'm like, and I'm just like, it's Sir Patrick Stewart. He, what are you gonna do to him? Yeah, like you can do a, shit to he's him. He's a sweet old man. Like, yeah. I, like he's he's the embodiment of Professor X. He's also like the only star captain, star captain from Star Trek. Why I don't feel like he's a creep and will hit on my women. That's um, fair, but so then he said he was in it. But then I remember all the speculation about who else was on this Illuminati thing with him. Yeah. A big one was a lot of people thought Tom Cruise was going to show up as well, the, Superior Iron the Man. The other one was uh, was John Krasinski as uh, Mr. Fantastic because everyone was like casting. Well, here's him the thing: as Mr. I didn't Fantastic. see any rumors that he was in this. Well, no, I, I know there wasn't. There, any there was there was a Mr. Fantastic in that scene in the trailer that we could see, but everybody I saw speculating thought they were bringing the dude from the 2005 movie back. Which I'm, I hope that I'm so fucking glad they didn't. Because holy fuck, that would have been bad. <laughs> yeah, like that was a rumor I saw was that they were going to bring him back. But no, they they got my man John Krasinski to be Reed Richards. And man, he is fucking perfect. The other members of the Illuminati... <laughs> um, you have Captain Carter. Who's, yeah. Haley Atwell came back to play her. From Marvel's What... Also from Marvel's What If, which is where they introduced the idea And then of... we, have, um, we have Captain Marvel, which I don't... I don't know if that's Monica or not. I think that might have been Monica, but I it was it's not the same tell. actress. It's I don't not the think. same actress. Okay. I don't think it's the same actress. But but the idea is it's supposed. I don't to be, think it is though. Yeah, I, even though it's not like the voice is different. Yeah, even though it's not like the Which Monica. Granted, they from, they yeah. could have done that in post, but like the voice sounded different to me. I, I but uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, give or take, that's supposed to be a Monica, not yeah, our not Monica, that, because yeah, she because yeah. they they're referencing the fact that Monica originally was Captain Marvel because yeah, Carol's actually the. The third. third. Okay, I wanted to say it was third the third. Third or fourth. But yeah, because, I, I mean, thank God they didn't do Marvel, because I was like, oh, God. I don't want to watch Marvel die well, no, again. We, Marvel was already in Captain Marvel. Remember, Marvel's a female in this universe. Well, in the in the main MCU. I know, but they probably they probably weren't going to contradict that. Okay, fair. But, uh, yeah, I guess that's true. Um, so they don't want to bring that up. All, all anybody knows that original Marvel 4 is dying of cancer. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then, of course, the one that everyone was super that's, excited that's, for. That's just a joke. Yeah. No, nobody, nobody murder me in the comments. To be fair, that story is really good. It's just, I don't... N that's not going to be one we're going to review on Rumble Hyphen, because I'm like, what are we going to say? Yeah, what am I going to say to this? It's sad and he dies of cancer. Um, but the one that probably nobody was happy for was the return of old Black Agar, Black Bolt from the Inhumans TV show. That's not the same actor. Well, it's not the same actor, but I, I don't I mean, think yeah, I'll say it's not the same but th actor. But they're clearly referenced. I was just like Oh, I'm going to work in a Miss Marvel rant. I'm going to get the opportunity to work this in, boys. But uh they directly mention the Lord of the Terrigen Mist. I'm like, that's great. Then why the fuck is it not in the Miss Marvel show? That's fucking stupid. You know. Um why we even mention it? I mean, on the bright side, he at least looked actually pretty good. I was al I was always afraid that when they if they do no, he looks good. He yeah, looks good. Yeah, the, the apologies are blowing. Really good. Any apologies to headphone users, but that that is going to be a sore point for that entire show with me. Yeah, I just I just remember sitting there when they showed Black Bolt. I remember I rolled my fucking eyes. You were just eyes. like, why, like, oh, man? Oh man. Um, the other, of course, member being uh, Baron Mordo of that universe, where he's the Sorcerer yeah. Supreme. Which um, the two biggest reactions we got, uh, there was a lot of, there was quite a bit of excitement for, for John, John Krasinski as Reed. But when Patrick Stewart yeah. came in, <laughs> there was actually applause, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there was an applause in the theater. <laughs> I was like, oh, I didn't expect that for Professor Xavier. I was like, oh, it's good to see these guys alive again. It's a shame I'm gonna have to watch everybody on this fucking council get killed. But uh, 
gruesome uh, to me, too. Yeah. Oh, my God. It, like, I wasn't prepared for how gruesome some of like, those were. Holy like, fuck. Up, now, up until the, their deaths, like, this would, I was like, well, this is, there's a few kind of, like, icky moments for, cause, like, because, you know, Sam Raimi does horror, so. And then. So then he was, like, amps it all the way Yeah. Then Wanda makes Black, uh, Black Bolt's mouth disappear, and then his powers blow his own brains out of his head. Well, okay, not out of, out of, but like... like it, his head implodes. Yeah, his head implodes. Thing. And I was like... And they show it, and I was like, holy fuck. Huh? Like, you see, like, his brain coming yeah. out of his nose? I'm like, holy fuck. Yeah. Then Doc, then Mr. Fantastic gets spaghetti and then... Yep. Which, I, I will admit... Which, by the way, before we go any further, I was happy as a Fantastic Four guy because oh, yeah, they, they mentioned have... that, A, he's married, Re Reed's married in this universe, so I'm assuming Sue, and then Wanda asks him if he has children, and he says, yeah... But he's he's like he's like I have children too, and I'm like oh so you said children plural, so I'm so obviously Franklin and Valeria both exist in this universe, yeah. which. But um, but yeah. Uh, otherwise though, the other deaths for the rest of the Illuminati were pretty. Ta Although I don't think we actually saw what happened to Baron Mordo. I think he just. No, he he lived. Yeah, he lived. I was well, surprised. Was Stewart and his neck. Stewart got his neck snapped. Yeah, but that wasn't nearly as vi well. His mental neck snap, so he just kind of, his so his mind died. But I mean, I mean, his he's dead, dead. But you yeah. you get what I mean. Captain but then, like Car Captain Carter got, got cut, cut in half. half with her own shield. Although the less said about Captain Carter, the better. And then, um, um, and then poor poor uh, Monica got a statue dropped on her. After I I I guess Wanda like drained her power cosmic, or I'm thinking that's what happened. Yeah, I'm assuming that's what she did. Um, but yeah, that. That scene was brutal, and to be fair, I didn't really mind because, man, the Illuminati sucked in this movie. I mean, they usually that, do. Haley Atwell is not... I've heard very less than stellar things about her personally. Well, Specifically I, how she interacts with fans, so... But I, I just... I was really annoyed with the Illuminati in this just because, like, they did not want to give Strange any... And I, and I get why, because they're strange. No, I get it. I was just like... Oh, uh, and then... The only one who had any fucking kind of logic was fucking was Professor X, X who was like, who was like, no, I I, I want to trust you because unlike everyone else in this fucking film, they're like, oh, hey, multiverse means that some of these characters that are we think are assholes are probably good in other universes. So we should at least hear what they have to say. The most annoying for me was Monica when she's like, we will handle your scar, your mere witch. And I'm like, I was like, oh, 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 honey, you're gonna oh, get honey. killed. Um, oh my god, even Breeze, even Breeze Carol isn't this fucking bad. Yeah, I know. I was like, which I, I feel like there was a, a little bit of Sam digging at some of the, the, the less than sh the, the kind of n crappy aspects of the MCU when he was doing that stuff. Like, notice Black Bolt probably got the most gruesome death. I guess he really hated the Inhumans pilot. Oh, well, the whole show, probably. Or the whole show, you know. Um, Although, poor John Krasinski is Mr. Fantastic. I was like, damn, he didn't deserve that. This read hasn't even done anything horrible yet. Like, throw people into the negative zone. Yes. Which, um, I'm really hoping they bring him back for the Fantastic Four movie. I'm hoping that means they, that they'll just say he's in it. Yeah. Because if they bring him back, if he was in this just for this, I'm going to be probably a little bit pissed. No, I... I, I I hope they 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 be sensible and just make him the main and Get the main Emily actor. Blunt to be his wife. Be Sue. I'm yeah. begging you. Um, please. Please. Place, also, place, place. I, I think we all can agree that the the noise they used for Black Agar's mouth. Oh my thing, that god, was, that hurt my ears. Yeah, that was. Why legit. did that need to be like that? They could. They need to tone that down a little bit. Yeah, like that was really. Yeah, that actually hurt my ears. I was yeah, like, guys, was, I get it. Yeah, that's that's what his powers do. I don't need to be fucking deafened in the goddamn theater. Yeah, that, that tone that hurts. down. That re that actually really yeah, legitimately tone hurts. Tone that down, please. Um, the other thing is, I uh, if I were to have any other complaints, I thought it was really lame how the Book of the Vashanti was brought up as this big plot point, and then it they did nothing with it. It just gets destroyed, and that's oh, it. Was it. Like a, it was a false lead, basically. Well, it's kind of frustrating because like this is like the first time they've really brought up the Vashanti. Like they brought up Agamotto, but they've never brought up the Hori Host of Hoggeth or the other yeah uh, Vishanti that I can't remember. I want to say her name's Vishnu. So, so, Jerry, what did you think of the Illuminati? Since you saw this before us. <laughs> well, I'm not really familiar with the book, so I, know, I had nothing to compare it to. Mm -hmm. That's but, fair. 
I liked it. I was I kind of wanted Namor to be in, but you don't want to debut a character that big. In, well, in then it. they haven't introduced Namor yet, yeah. so I kind of get it. Well, he's, yeah, supposed so to, this, he's supposed to be in the next Black Panther movie. Yeah, if we're not that would be a more suitable. Oh, good. I hope that means we get to watch Black Panther beat his ass. But I mean, uh, yeah, it was good. I mean, uh, you kind of show what they have to do. It kind of reflects the comics of what they're known for. Mm. You know, making these hard decisions and. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and being huge assholes, because yeah, that's yeah. basically well, the only. I'd like to think everybody except Reed and X were. Yeah, kinda at Reed was at least pretty Reed nice. Was the, yeah, Reed was like, yeah. I want you to just go back to where you came from. We don't need any more incursions. Like yeah. I, oh. I, Reed was a, was sensible. I just like Reed usually is. Monica has right. just pissed me off because the way she was like, "We'll handle the Scarlet Witch." Yeah. I'm like, but the concept of an incursion, I love how we actually visually got to see the remnants of how devastating that can be. Well, so if they're leading two secret wars, yeah, that would that would be something. Then the it's fact that it's fun. also a callback to the What If TV show. Well, speaking of What If, I'm glad because we were talking about it on the way out. I'm glad the use of the zombie wasn't like he's from. He, they didn't lift it from the What If show. Like it's a universe inhabited by zombies. He actually. Oh yeah, in, yeah. So I, I think that was clever. No, I'm, I am kind of glad we didn't end up going to the Marvel zombies universe because yeah, I'm like I don't need to see yeah, that. So yeah, right. I'm not even a big fan of the Marvel zombies. Now Marvel apes. <laughs> That is some Marvel shit. Apes review when? I actually <laughs> wouldn't mind because I've, I've heard a lot that'd of be, good things about that. That'd be, that'd be so funny. Deep. Especially because we can talk about Spider Monkey, one of my favorite <laughs> Spider uh, alternate universes. Um, because I remember we had I had told you that like I had seen the Krasinski leak like a yeah. couple days, and I remember telling you like I'm excited. I don't want to tell you what it is, but I, casting wise, I'm a happy man. And, and based on the, the rules in this movie, the variants are played by the same actor, so I like to think. They won't have the, the audience's first exposure to a Mr. Fantastic be a variant. Yeah, I, I, I would assume that, like, they wouldn't just bring him in for this cameo. Right. Like, especially because well, he's, he's like... Marvel knows a lot of people were, were yeah. wanting him for it. And yeah. plus, I'm, I, I'm assuming that the, the overall, you know, reception is going to be positive. Um, I actually like that they referenced Wondegore finally. <laughs> Like, I was oh, like, yeah, I like that was, exactly. although I remember, I think you had a little bit of problems with that. Or was it you talking about how Wong kind of just led her to Wondegore? Yeah, I was just like, I actually remember telling Riley, I'm like, wow, thanks, Wong, you're fucking useless. I made it. I mean, yeah. he is the sorcerer, the acting sorcerer supreme. I was like, so you are kinda... fucking you. I mean, to be yeah, fair. You cave because she's going to kill four people? Yeah. I'm like, come on, man. What the fuck? What is that? Well, to be fair, this is just shortly after the, well, after the events of the first fantastic, like. I know, Dr. but Strange still, or, like, I'm like, man. You're no, supposed I to make a, the hard choices. That's not a that, that's that's caving. Yeah, but come I, on, man. I, well, I mean, the, but to be fair, that's because he's not like I, I I do think one of the morals is like sometimes you don't have like sometimes making the hard choice doesn't necessarily mean like letting just people die. Yeah, because basically, it's like one of the big plot points in this was how Strange feels unhappy despite the fact that he saved the world, and they even bring up how. Was it really a good choice for him to give Thanos the Time Stone, even if he thought that was the only way they could win? Especially given that, like, they even reference how, like, Wanda was like, "I, I killed my, I killed the man I love by blowing a, a hole through his head, and it was, it was for nothing." Yeah. So, like, I, I kind of, yeah, people. I kind of, I kind of get the idea that one of the things they wanted to do was bring up was was Strange's choice the right choice, and so I, I, yeah. <laughs> yes, thank you. Well, it goes back to like uh, focusing on his character arc and, yeah. and, and giving um, him more to do. It's also really interesting that 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 universe with the that was like the two where the two universes were like in, like like merging into one another where he fights that evil strange. That was really cool. That was like probably one of my favorite parts in this. Yeah, I really like that. Like the the, the artistic designs yeah. for that were insane. Also, I'm glad they fixed the CG for that eye, the third eye thing, because I was like that looked really bad in the trailer. Yeah, it's a lot better here. Also, they finally brought Clea into this via one of yeah, the post via credits. via one of the post credits. With Charlize Theron playing, and I'm like, yes. Yeah, she looks really I am a nice. happy motherfucker even more. Well, and they, they actually gave her the costume. They didn't pussy out and not do a costume. Well, they, they've been getting a lot better. Because remember, they um, they put Star Fox in his actual costume. And, um, Reed was in an in actual Turtles, costume. Yeah. I was worried about that. I was no, like, that, that was oh, really I was good. worried they were going to give him like some shitty looking thing like the 2005 costumes were. I actually was surprised they gave him like the most modern Fantastic Four costume, too. I was like expecting like... I was like the one I have the figures of, yeah. remember? Where I was like, holy fuck. Yeah, I was expecting them to do something like give him like the classic, like old school yeah. Fantastic Four costume. But no. No, they went with the modern version. And oh, the babyish blue looking yeah. one. Yeah, like they even gave him the beard that he has in the comics currently. 
Like, I was kind of blown away the by that. the fucking sides. And yeah. looking... They gave Professor Xavier his fucking hover chair from the 90s cart. They even played the X-Men theme in this, which I, I sadly missed. But, like, when he showed up, they actually I wish they would put like... the fucking score on goddamn yeah. iTunes so I could buy it. I could um... listen to that. But yeah, uh, do you guys have any other things you didn't like about the film? Because I kind of, I kind of talked about my it, point. It point. felt a little bit rushed in yeah, spots. That's I, fair. I hope I'm not alone in thinking that. There were a couple yeah. of spots where it kind of, it just felt kind of rushed. We which also had, was probably might have been it being delayed, and then all the reshoots, you know, blowing it back to the frame and then yeah. rebuilding it. No, that's fair. Um, I know you also had a few issues with Wanda, Wanda's portrayal in this. <sighs> it. I mean, I get I, it. I'm like, trying to think of the ways to vocalize it. That's fair. I, 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 it's still infinitely better than the horse shit that is House of M. I will well, give it that. I it also, is infinitely better than that. I also at least like I'm that just, they, they don't vilify her, vilify her. Like, she's to, doing to, some bad yeah, things, but like, to it's... To me, I'm like... I, it's... Okay, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to vocalize this in a way that makes sense. To me... I would rather them introduce a villain and not fucking kill them off. Yeah. Rather than start turning characters that are fan favorites and fan ones that people like. Yeah. Evil for the sake of what well, we need a villain. No, I get you. I'm like, just introduce a villain and then don't fucking kill them at the end of the goddamn movie like you do with everything else. Yeah. It's not that hard. Well, and thankfully they like. <clears throat> Wanda appears to die in this, but I, given the fact I didn't we, see a body, so I'm not counting that. Well, get, well, given the fact that we saw like like her like her chaos magic energy flare at the end there, I'm assuming she got out. But I I at least I was at least thankful they at least redeemed her at the end, and even Strange himself like didn't blame her for what happened in Westview. Like he says, you know, like you made a mistake, but at the end you you fixed it, well, and that's I'm what matters. It just seems like recently, man, they're bringing stuff into these movies from, and it's from comic book storylines that I fucking don't like. Yeah, that like was they one brought one more day in, and I yeah. hate one more day. It's an ass storyline. Yeah. Now they're referencing House of M, which I have a fuck ton of issues with as an X Men guy. So yeah. I'm just no, like, that's fair. Can, can we stop bringing shit in that people don't like? My God, they did Civil War already. Which yeah, can, can can we stop? Can can you guys <clears throat> maybe adapt some like obscure shit that? people actually kind of like yeah um or rather just use what we have to make new stories instead of yeah. just doing like stories we already have yeah i mean i i hope that's a that, i hope that was an articulated way of putting <clears throat> no, it I, I, I was just i get it you. wasn't character assassination like civil war 2 was with carol yeah. Yeah, but like but I like I, I was getting a little bit of those vibes well it, 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 i i get it cuz like <laughs> but i i'm at least thankful like they seem to handle it a lot. Like I said, they handled it, I think, as best as they could without completely... Yeah. Like, I, like I, I, she does some bad things, but, like, at least here they still... They still point out, like, she's not doing it because she's wanting to be, like, cruel or, like, rip the universe asunder because she lost her kids. She just wants them back. Well, plus, they, they make several instances in dialogue where <clears throat> they, they kind of convey the idea that it, it is the dark hold. Yeah. Corrupting her, so... Yeah. Plus, I, I like I said, I like at the end when like they, they don't, they don't. There's not a big drawn out fight with her. Yeah. They because I like that because it, it portrays what's what Strange learned because like he thought he had to. Everyone was like, you need to take Chavez's powers even if it kills her because it's the only way. And Strange, first of all, teaches her how to use her powers, and then she realizes what she needs to do. She can't defeat Wanda. She needs to show Wanda what she was doing was wrong. And I think that that worked really well. And at least, like I said, I, I at least was happy that, like, for the most part, no one, like, tries to flat out say she's evil. It's just what she's doing is wrong. Yeah. So uh, it, it's, it, it is at least leagues better than what how House of M and Avengers Disassembled handled that, if that makes any sense. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Um, but I do, I, I think it is at least frustrating because I'm like, I didn't really want to watch her turn evil at all. Like, yeah. I, I'm, I don't really care for the whole, vi like, heroes turning into villains thing. I don't, it, yeah, it, it's a trope I hate. It's it not never, and it never works out ever. Like, it, it's always bad. Like, like, it never, it, That shit didn't even work in yeah. Buzz Lightyear or Star Command. Why the fuck would it work here? Yeah, exactly. Um... But yeah, at, at least the, I, I, I like the ending a lot more and it didn't feel nearly as... 
kind of tacked on like I felt Far From Homes did eventually towards the end there, particularly just them erasing like everything that they everything that they did wrong with the MCU Spidey. Like just so that they could have a clean slate and try to do what people wanted. It it I don't know. It it left a bad taste in my mouth, even though I love that film. But at least here it, it but I do I do I do kinda under, I do understand where you're coming from. Like it, it they I wish they they would have just used a different villain, but Eh, it's what it is, but I, I, on the whole, I, I at least I'm at least glad they they still they didn't cave to like how everyone treated her at the end of WandaVision. Where like people were like, oh, but she was evil and she possessed this whole town. I'm like, but the 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 show states that was an accident. But I don't know. Yeah, and the X Men cause all kinds of fucking issues all the goddamn time, and I say that as an X Men guy. <clears throat> the X Men <laughs> fighting for a world that justifiably hates and fears them. But um, uh, any any issues you had with the film? Honestly, Jared? a lot. I'm trying to think because I really didn't think it was rushed. I think the pacing was pretty good, to be honest. I liken it to the Batman in terms of it didn't feel like you had any wasted screen time. You had plenty of scenes devoted to to America and, and strangers bonding. Mm. And I think that was good. You, you form a bond that pays off in the end. Yeah. That bond was really good. Was. Like, like I said, the only thing I feel bad is just that like Chavez doesn't really get a lot of time to shine. Right, right. Nah, that's true. <clears throat> but you see, you see it like a nice flashback to, to her, her moms, and you get to see kind of where she's coming from. So yeah, the the, the, the scene, the, the scene, scene that, that, that got it banned in Saudi Arabia yeah. and Egypt, and I'm like, like, why was this that bad? There was even like a kiss, like everyone was complaining about. Literally, it was just she had two moms, and I'm like, I know. Way to overreact, boys. <laughs> Yeah, oh, but, no. but, but, but by visually showing the audience, no. you know, with use of the, of the future, or not future, but... I'm glad, too, like, I think those countries, like, can you, told Disney, can you edit this out for us? No. Yeah. Which I'm like, damn. Well, because <laughs> and, after, he, and after fucking Moon Knight making an actual Egyptian superhero for... He, this is like, how he... This is how you act. I offered you friendship, and you spat in my face. Like, and to be fair, I'm not, I'm not saying that because, like... You know, like, us interfering on other cultures is a bad thing, but, like... I'm just, I'm over... Film bans should not be a thing. Period. There is no world where I... There is a justifiable reason. If you don't like something in a movie, or you don't... You're not interested... Don't go see it. Your opinions, no matter how shitty, should not ever infringe on someone else's right to go see a movie. Also, there like, is no argument for that. I don't care how you frame it. I was like, this movie got banned in Egypt, but Eternals didn't, and that actually had a, an on-screen yeah. gay kiss. Stupid. Completely fucking stupid. But, like, like I said, that... But no, like, we got to that scene, I'm like, oh, I guess this is where the kiss is. Nothing. And then I was like... But I got, I got the feeling a lot of this... Not just that, but a lot of other stuff. Because I, I have a feeling that Tom Cruise stuff was filmed, and they just cut it. I don't I, know. I don't know. We're gonna, have was, to, we're gonna have to wait because I'm sure stuff will get leaked. Yeah. Also, was like, God damn, the Illuminati are using Ultron as fucking battle drones, and I'm like, could we not? <laughs> well, I mean, it, uh, maybe you can assume that he, he took, you know, about. about well, I'm assuming Tony. they took it from yeah. Tony because I'm assuming Tony died in this universe because of Earth what? Uh, eight three eight, I think, was the universe. No, no, no the one that they they designated. The one that you, uh, you guys took issue with. No, the the, oh, the main... Right they, they say the main... They say oh, yeah, the main you know. one is 616. Kiss my ass. <laughs> it's not. I don't fucking care what anybody yeah. says. I know, yeah. It doesn't make any sense. The Peter in the, in these movies doesn't act like the comic book Peter. Stop arguing. It, you know you're wrong. Well, and also, like... There's it's like, a stupid argument. Well, th- and there's so much that's completely different from the actual 616 universe. Yeah, so like, like I, f- fuck out of here. Like, there's no Miles in this universe. There's no... Th- th- Why are you all booing me? I'm right. The Wasp in this universe is not Janet Van Dyne. And no, this Janet clearly was never the Wasp in this universe. Or if she was, it was like a long time ago. The current wasp in this uni- in the six one six universe is Janet Van Dyne. That was my little rant. Despite the fact we've never <laughs> no, watched the Ant Man movies, it's it's fucking. But like that's just it's, like it's the, a the stupid art. It's the second time they've done this. I'm like, yeah. why are you guys no, so I, insistent on this? Well, not only that, it it it, it it's annoying because then I'm like, so there's just two six one sixes. It's like dumb. Like that's yeah. Like just make it its own fucking universe. Hell, use the Ultimate Universes. 
16 times. Yeah. Shit, that world doesn't even exist anymore. Yeah, so that, 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 it's free to use. Like, I, clearly, like, they use 616 because, well, this one universe is 838, so they all have to be, th like, yeah. three digits. And I'm like, then use a different digit number. 199, there you yeah. go. <laughs> yeah, just shorten the, the radio. No, I, yeah, that, that, like, the moment she said the six, I, in my head, I was like, fuck you. <laughs> like, fuck you. But all in all, I mean, I, I really can't think of, I mean, I'm sure they'll come to me later, but I can't think of anything on hand that I really, and I'm, I usually nit nitpick stuff. But, and it, it, to be yeah. fair, what, what flaws we had, they were... For the most Fine. part, pretty yeah. pretty yeah. harmless. So. Um, let's wrap up. Let's wrap up. Because we, well, so. we talked a while. Ratings. Uh, out of ten, I'm going to give it seven and a half. Um, really, really enjoyed it. In fact, you know, fuck, I'll go full eight. Full eight. Eight out of ten. I know that like, seems to be my my usual ranking of stuff is eight out of ten, unless I really, really enjoy something. But um, I really, really enjoyed it. Um, cinematography was beautiful. Um it was very very enjoyable. It didn't feel like two and a half, like two two hours and six minutes. Um, I'm really glad Sam Raimi came back. That's all I got. Jared, it wasn't eight. After seeing it again, I think it's an eight point five. Hmm. Because knowing where the story was going to go, I can I can kind of dissect and analyze other things. That's fair. Um, I'm really really happy that you get. It was a more of a director made movie than than than, than the last few installments of the MCU. Um. Again, the pacing was good. I actually liked Wanda's arc. So that, I mean, she I think she functions as a great villain. But I'm not going to go into, go into a rant there. But I, I, yeah, I like where she, she's going with that. That, that kind of contributed to my high rating because, boy, that, she was so interesting to watch. And I like, like I said, they resisted the temptation to give in to cameos. And they actually kept the focus on Strange and, and, and the lessons he's still learning as he goes on. So, yeah, 8.5. And I, um, I hope we get one day at, like an actual... More of a solitary Doctor Strange third installment in, in the same vein as the first film. But yeah. for now, this will do. Um, I'm going to rate this... I, boy, me and Colton are like a high mind. I'm going to also rate this an 8 out of 10. Um, it was really good. Together, we form one half of a whole idiot. <laughs> it was really good. Um, Benedict Cumberbatch and Elizabeth Olsen right. blow, blow, the, this, blow it out of the park with their acting. The cinematography and uh, just Sam Raimi's direct directing was... Like really, really good. Bring him back for more stuff. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. the fact that he Give him did a Spider Man like, movie, like the the horror slant he did in this, really makes this film really unique. Um, the soundtrack's really good. Danny Elfman as uh, doing the soundtrack was phenomenal. Like as always, because he's Danny Elfman. When does he not make a good fucking soundtrack? Um, I wish it was on goddamn iTunes. <clears throat> I'm sure it will be hitting soon, but um. Yeah, like like I said, the only real complaints I had with it was I feel like America is not really utilized to the best they could have used here. But that's mostly just I, I kinda get why she's like there's so much going on, something had to probably not be as important. And I'm sure we're gonna see America again in some other stuff. Oh um we have to. I'm i I'm assuming Young Avengers, because we're pretty much got all of them back, got all of them now, but um or maybe if they're gonna make a champions <laughs> movie. I'd be like, okay. Um, either that or maybe sh me, maybe she and Kate Bishop will hook up and be bisexual pals in a fun bisexual bisexual adventure. <laughs> oh, I don't want to hear the conservatives bitching about that. Yeah, That'll be the next thing they they're mad about. Yeah, fuck it, I don't care. Um, but yeah, I, I like I said, it's pretty good. Um, yeah, go see it. <laughs> it's a pretty good movie. Um, I think that's gonna wrap it up for this one, guys. Uh, we got some more stuff coming in coming down along the pipe. Uh, Moon Knight should probably be the next one we'll do out after this. Um, then we got some, uh, some other stuff going, coming out for you. But, uh, yeah. Rider hates Batman. Yes. Yeah. Uh, fucking Ghost Rider's gonna be this year. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, also, uh... And then, also, it's, in, then it's in the Star Wars. Star yeah. Wars month. Also Thor Love and... Birthday. Yeah, also oh. Thor Love and Thunder when that comes out. Oh. But, uh... Anyway, guys. I'm Zonga2134. As always, I'm Average Joe Squad. I'm Jared. And as always... We ask you to remember the hyphen and take care. It's powered by the heart of a forsaken child. <laughs>